Okay, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to have a look at some Chrome apps. Now go ahead and open your app browser or simply click on this little symbol to show apps. Now here you can see some of the apps that I've already linked to. Now what is a Chrome app? Now a Chrome app can be a link to a separate website or to a Google website within Google Drive. Now, as you can see here, when I click on Google Drive, I go straight to my Google Drive. Now the same thing happens for the other Google apps such as Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. Now I've linked to these because these are the apps I use the most. Down here you will see Move Note for Education. This is an extra app that I've installed through the Web Store. So let's go ahead and install an app today. Let's go to Web Store. Now once the Web Store is opened, you will see that there are apps, games, extensions and themes. Today we're going to look at apps and games. On the top there are some featured apps. You can scroll down and you can discover some more. So as you can see, I'm scrolling down and there are lots of different apps. Now these all have reviews, as you can see down here, 218 reviews and an average score of four and a half stars. So that's pretty good. We also have some games down here. These are editor's picks and college essentials. Now, let's say that I want to find an app that works for me. I can simply search the store so I'm going to search for a productivity app. So let's type in productivity, enter. What this is now going to do is it's going to search for the keyword productivity in all these different apps. And let's say that I want to install an app, I can simply click on add to Chrome. I can do the same thing. Let's go back for games, let's click on games. Here are some of the highlighted games. Let's say that you want to add a game, let's say, Sumon. I click on this. I can now read the overview. There's a nice overview down here. I can also see that this is available for Android and I can click on the link Get It, which will bring me to the Play Store for my Android phone or device. I can also read some reviews. These are reviews that have been written by people from all over the world. And I can find some related games. Now, let's go ahead and add this to Chrome. I click on Add to Chrome and it asks me to confirm. Add App. And as soon as the app has been installed, this is now available in my App Launcher. So, let's go back to the original homepage. Apps and you see that this game has now been added to my list of apps. When I log into a different device, a different computer, a Chromebook, or maybe even a computer at work or at school, I can sign into Google Chrome, that is the browser, and I will have access to all these apps. So let's go ahead and open this. You will see what it does is it sends me to the link of that website because all the apps in Google Chrome are web-based apps. Okay, once the game's loaded, you can start playing the game. As you can see, everything is done within my browser. I can also exit the game by simply clicking on Back. Back brings me back to my app launcher. I hope this was helpful. Next time we'll review some of these web apps. If you have a favorite web app, please let me know in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos.